I welcome into Flames Film Room, hanging out with Coach McKay. We're going to go back and look at one of the biggest wins in program history, the A-Sun Championship game against Lipscomb. You ready, you ready to go relive some of this? I am, because I know the outcome. You do. So it's a little bit easier, yeah. a little stress-free now. All right, let's get it going. Obviously, the environment. Have you played many games with a more wild environment than this one? Yeah, not as a head coach. Obviously, you haven't been in the ACC and some of the uh, the venues in which we play uh, it, it rivaled this. But the intimacy of Allen Arena and yeah. it, the significance of the game. Here's what I like: getting a little feisty early on. You know, you kind of setting the tone. Do you like that? And do you think it got Scotty even going a little bit? He scored their first seven points in the ball game. Yeah, Scotty's a competitive guy. And remember now, this is the the remake of last year and the feeling that we felt after the Radford loss. Yeah. So without a doubt, our guys had a sense of urgency heading into the game. Uh, this is when things kind of start getting sideways a little bit. Down whoa, whoa, whoa. six. Yeah, run that did. back. Run that back. Run that we'll take back. a look at that one again. Yeah, I, uh, I want to yeah. make sure that, that Caleb is watching the show here. He gets the big man on him. He I, thinks this is his Pause time. it right there. Can we pause yeah. it right there? So I'm calling right now the four low, hey, Caleb, this is your world. Yeah. Do your yeah. thing. And, and he's got a side on him. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Asaja has he's, good hands, yeah, he's a good athlete. very quick feet, yeah. and he's way more athletic than he looks. But this? I know. Wait a minute. Do, do you? No, 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 no. Yeah. So, just picking his pocket, rip. and then the big fella didn't quite have enough lift there to finish it with the throwdown, but he got the job done. Yeah, oh, and the replay. Yeah, we will give it to him twice. Yeah. What are you saying at that point? Because you go around eight at that stage, and I know sitting at home, you know, a lot of fans are like, oh, man, is this heading the wrong direction here? What are you saying at that stage? I feel like... The way our guys played during the non-conference season and the way they were tested with that schedule, it just felt like, look, we've been here before. We have a chance on the next possession to get the ship righted. And, uh, and I think we do. I think we end up finishing the half pretty strongly. And, uh, and that was just one play in the game. Uh, I think as a player, look, if, if you can't go to the next play, it's just like a great quarterback. He's got to have a short memory when yeah. he's dropping back. If he's if he's thrown interception and it's a pick six, man. The next time you come out, if you're tentative or you you take too long on your progressions or your reads, you're in trouble. Well, I think the same is true in this game, and there are no huddles. So those that turnaround going to the next play has to be instantaneous. And the maturity that our guys showed in this game, I, I think that was relevant. All right, this next play is is probably my favorite, and no one's gonna remember this. But watch this next one here. So you get a Lipscomb turnover, but watch the live hands there, good hands. Coach, hand on the side, and then you give a little extra behind yeah. the back dribble. And we'll get in slow motion there. You know, you know, it's a Coach McBuckets was kind of your nickname. Should it be Coach McHandles? You know, I'm glad you caught this. Yeah. The uh, and then to put it down before the referee came. What did he say something to you? Was he a little impressed? He said good handles, did good he? handles. I said, yeah. you know, back in the day, I wanted to tell him my scoring average and stuff. Yeah, you just didn't have time. We just didn't have time. Yeah, that's all right. You can get to that sort of thing later. But but I, I do think it's relative to this point. Like that was our group this year. We, we had fun being a part of it. Yeah. And I think representing Liberty and having a chance to get to our second consecutive championship game, I just felt like the, the more we stayed in the moment and enjoyed it, the better off we'd be. Well, you mentioned how you closed out the half and Lavelle Cavill closes you out with a nice bucket here to give you guys lead. Remember, we didn't even know if he was gonna play. Or at least on the outside, he had that scary injury against North Florida. He gets the bucket to give you guys a one point lead going to the break. How big was that? Run it back if you would, Steven. I'll tell you, stop, pause it right there. So Asajula had picked him clean prior yeah, to the Caleb right. Holmes league pick. So to go against Kenny Cooper, who arguably is one of the best on ball defenders that we have in the league, and to get it to the rim like he does, I want you to watch the finish and then watch the excitement of our guys, like Elijah Cuffey. Yeah. Scotty's yeah. posing. Elijah, that, that to me was belief. Yeah. Like, we, we have a saying in our locker room, it's not a saying, it's scripture. It says, Ephesians 3.20, that God can do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can ask, think, or imagine. And I, I think this was reflective of that. Our guys really believed that we could go into Lipscomb and win the game. All right, now a little bit later stage in the game, we talk about Scotty getting feisty early. You were getting a little fired up. This is about as fiery as I've seen you in a game. Scotty had just taken one to the chops. I think you were asking for a review Walk me through kind of the emotions of this kind of juncture of the ballgame. 440 to go, four point game. Uh, obviously the stakes were high. Yes, they were. And this was uh, this was uh, just a reaction to, you know, Casey Alexander, who I think is one of the best coaches in the country that, especially that I've ever coached against. I think his program is fabulous. They have a great team. And he's as competitive as anyone that yeah. I've coached against. So I, I thought he said something to us about, you know, me getting the box or whatever, and that could be wrong. Yeah. Because the moment, maybe it was just my emotions, but 
I then said, well, you should get in the box too. <laughs> but I said it nicely. Yeah, I didn't, yeah. I didn't I like say any bad words. Georgie was kind of acting like he was going to kind of hold yeah, me back. He, he was like, just, just leave, leave yeah, me alone. Yeah, don't yeah. touch me right yeah, now. Georgie, Georgie yeah. you don't know how much I bench, son. That's what I was telling him. <laughs> but he was messing up my suit. He was. That was the worst part. You were looking good up until that. All right, we jump now. Me and looking good have never been said in the same sentence. You're doing all right. Can we cut that out of the video session? Under a minute and a half to go. Lipscomb up one here. Chance to go up three, maybe even four, and a huge steal by Caleb Holmesley. Uh, that kind of maybe got lost for a lot of people in what happened down the stretch and what followed. But that steal kept it a one-point game and then gave you an opportunity to take the lead at the other end. Yeah, that was a huge defensive play. Not only did we cut off Garrison Matthews' straight line, Caleb comes up with a steal. And then Scotty right there, great yeah. pass, perfectly laid. And we clear out the weak side, and Scotty finishes. That, that, that was huge because, again, a minute to go, if you're a defensive-minded program, we knew a stop would really, really help our chances. So you get another stop, and you end up having the ball up one, 21 seconds to play. Walk me through kind of that huddle. What's going on there? You're drawing it up, trying to make what you hope to be the game-stealing play. Well, only 14 on the shot clock. Pause it. Or the, the play here was a lob for Scotty. Because this pass scared me to death in the moment, and even watching it back a few times. I think we had a good play on, but Cooper switched, which yeah. was, again, it speaks to his defensive prowess. And Scotty makes what is the most unheralded play of our season. To come up with this 50-50 ball, because who threw it in? Elijah, he threw it a little short. Go ahead. And stop. That right there, the yeah. gathering of yeah. it, yeah. we retain possession. Now they're in a scramble situation. Cooper's on the floor. Three guys are guarding Scotty. And Lavelle, who could have shot this, but had the wherewithal and the presence of mind. Go ahead. To shot fake, pause it. And he draws two, and look at that. Yeah. The best three-point shooter in the league is in the corner with a with a wide open room and rhythm shot and a late contest. That bodes well. And you can see the bench in its celebration. We kind of thought, uh-oh, this could be that could be the dagger. One of the biggest shots in program history. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think so. And I can we run it back? I love the reaction. You're gonna see Brendan Newton, he's the <laughs> he's the beginning. Watch yeah. how high he gets off the floor. And then Sam Thomas, our GA, who's sitting next to Derek Johnson. He gets up and poses. Look at look at Rax. Yeah. Rax was about three feet off the floor. He'd have dunked it if he, you know, jumped that high in a ball game. Rax, Hen, even yeah. Chelsea got some lift. <laughs> you close it out at the line, you celebrate. So few people get a chance to to feel this. What does it feel like? There's you with your wife and your daughter. Yeah. Walk me through what's that moment like? Man, it uh again, I've said a bunch this year because of the way Virginia finished and they won the national championship. The emotion that they felt after the UMBC defeat to the adulation with winning the national championship. I don't know if, if it's that big of this distinction or discrepancy, but you, we lost to Radford yeah. in a really yeah. tough fashion. And they deserve to win, don't get me wrong. But to, to have the anguish of that, and then a year later, especially against such a quality team and program, I, I'm telling you, it was the culmination of what started four years ago, April 1st of 2015. Mm -hmm that we had, we had dreamt of this moment, and there we were. So a lot of emotion, a lot of excitement, a lot of gratitude, and, uh, and a lot of appreciation for all that sacrifice in the process, including spouses, children, uh, administrators. administrators. Um, I, again, this was a proud moment for us because we get to represent Liberty. One of the biggest wins in program history. Coach, glad we get to relive it one more time. Now, we'll, I guess, officially turn the page and start looking on to next season. Well, I'm privileged that you would choose us for the first Flames That's right. film session. Let's hope we have another one. We'll do another one in the future. Great. I have a good feeling about it. Thanks, Coach.